is a video of a Stirling engine being run on liquid nitrogen. That is a 225 degrees Celsius temperature difference. Everyone looking to save some money on gas. And so when we heard of the car that runs on air, we just had to send our correspondent to check it out. ABC's Nick Schifrin tonight, running on empty. It may seem hard to believe, but this rust bucket could be the car of the future. So when I look in here, I see a garbage can. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> I see yeah. a piece of wood and I see some random string. I mean, this is totally homemade, right? It is, yes. Oops. <laughs> Meet inventor Peter Dearman. His car needs no gas, no batteries, only air. Have you ever seen Back to the Future? Oh, yes, yeah. I need fuel. Quick, get in the car! I should, I should really have different hair. What emissions will this car produce? Uh, it won't actually produce any emissions because it's only air that we're using. We're not burning anything. Here's how it works. When you cool air to minus 300 degrees, it becomes a liquid. If you warm the liquid with the help of antifreeze, it expands back into a gas, powering the car's motor. So, fancy a spin? range is three miles with a tailwind. Top speed's only 30. Look, it's an early prototype, but soon there'll be a more polished package developed by the company that designs engines for McLaren sports cars. In 40 years of inventions in this garage, Peter says this one is his most important. He may just make the old gas guzzlers disappear into thin air. Nick Schifrin, ABC News, Hertfordshire, England. Uh, I'm one of the founders of the Dearman Engine Company. I'm not an engineer, so I feel a bit of a fraud in this building. The engineers sent me out to these events because they found it amusing for the Q&A. So, uh, bear with me. We are developing a novel patented zero emission engine that runs on liquid air. Now, until a year ago, I didn't even know air could be a liquid. Apparently, though, if you take 700 litres of air, or thereabouts, and you pass it through a standard industrial refrigeration process used by Lindy and BOC and the likes of those guys. Been happening for 100 years. You reduce the heat, you compress it, take it down to minus 200 degrees or thereabouts, you get one liter of liquid air, which you can store at atmosp atmospheric pressure. If you warm it up again by adding ambient heat, then you can regenerate it to be 700 liters of air. If you do that in a confined space, you get pressure, you can do work. So um, I think the world is ready for a liquid air car. Thank you. Dimmon is developing a range of cold and power applications and technologies, the first of which is zero emissions transport refrigeration. It's a cleaner, cheaper alternative to diesel and offers real costs and operational benefits. The Dearman refrigeration system uses liquid nitrogen for both cooling and electrical power generation. 